Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is week 14 and 15 pregnancy update. Vlog, what are you going to call it? I don't know. So, I like last time, I did my little cheat sheet because, like I said, I always forget to mention um, some things that happen. <laughs> so, I wrote down everything so that I wouldn't forget. So, starting week 14, I um, which was July 1st, I had I went to the ER or the emergency room because I woke up that morning. I had to pee like every other morning, every morning. I woke up, had to pee. I went to use the bathroom, and once I wiped, there was blood on the tissue. I checked two more times after the first time, and I wiped, you know, two more times, and there was still a lot of blood on the tissue, and it was bright red. It was not pink or brown. Like, it was not dried up blood. Hold on, y'all. Xavier is taking a shower, so I don't want y'all to hear the shower um, over me. So, yeah, it was red blood. And, of course, I immediately got in the shower. Um, and then, well, I immediately turned on the shower to take a shower. And But I called my mom first. And I told her that I was bleeding. And she was asking me, you know, what color it was. Once I told her it was bright red and that it was a good amount of it, she told me to go to the emergency room. So, I, Xavier was home with me, so I got him dressed, took a shower, got myself dressed, and then I headed out to take him to my church where my aunt, um, two of my aunts were, aunts were, so that they can watch him for me. And so, and then I headed straight to the hospital, which was right around the corner from my church, or is right around the corner from my church. So, once I got there, at the hospital here where I live, uh, we only have one hospital, you have to like to check in you sit in a chair and there's like a window in front of you and you talk to the person through a window that is checking you in so once i got checked in like i was shaking because i was so nervous and so scared i was like i don't feel like checking in i just want y'all to take me back there and give me a room but of course that's not how it worked so once i got checked in i got up out the chair and i looked down and immediately like there was blood on my chair like a lot of like a strip of blood and so I looked at the lady through the window and I was like, please tell them to hurry and call me back there. And she just looked at me crazy like, female, I'm not going to hurry this process. There's nothing I can do. Um, and then I just started bawling because I'm like, why is there blood on the chair? Like, why am I bleeding? And I didn't sit in the waiting room because there was another lady in there and I just didn't want her in my face while I was crying. So I went on the opposite side of the waiting room where there was nobody at. And I called my mom and I, like I said, I was crying hysterically. And I, my mom asked me what was wrong. And I was just like, mom, it's so much blood. And she just was like, oh my gosh, like how, how long are they going to take to call you to the back? And as soon as she asked me that, they called me back there. And I was like, I'm going to call you back. And she was just like, okay. So once I got in for them to check my vitals and stuff, I told... The lady was asking me um, what was what happened. Like, as soon as I got in there, she asked me, you know, what's going on. And I was just like, please hurry. It's a lot of blood. I'm pregnant, and it's a lot of blood. And then she immediately just, sorry, y'all, my head. <laughs> she immediately put me into a room, and instead of checking my vitals, she put me into the room and um, had me to check, take off my clothes and change into a gown. And then she did my vitals through right there. And she told me that they were going to do an ultrasound as well as um, check me vaginally to make sure everything was okay. And, you know, she just was asking me what was going on. I told her what was going on. And every other nurse and doctor that came into the room asked me what was going on. I told them. And so they all explained to me what they were going to do. They drew blood from me and told me that they were going to check my blood count to make sure it was good and high or whatever it needs to be and so after that I was in the room and then my aunt called me who I dropped Xavier off to and told me and asked me what was going on and I told her and she just was like okay I'm on my way so her and two of my other aunts and all of my cousins came to the well not all of them but the cousins that were with them came to the hospital room my pastor came um not the hospital room but came to the hospital my pastor also came so I had a lot of support, and that made me feel good. Um, once they got there, it took them a while to call me to do, I mean, to get me to do the, um, take me to the back to do the ultrasound. But once they did, um, I also called my baby's father, but he ended up not coming, which is whatever. 
So, but he did ask me what was going on. I let him know, and he's just like, okay, whatever. So, they took me to the ultrasound room. They did the ultrasound, and as she was doing it, I was just like, like, she did let me hear the baby's heartbeat, but I was just wondering why isn't the baby moving? And she was like, it's moving. And I was like, no, it's not. Like, I don't see it moving. My aunt didn't see it moving either because she went back there with me, or one of them went back there with me. And we did not see the baby moving. And so she just moved the one around on my stomach to see if she can get the baby to move. And once it moved, I had the biggest grin on my face because prior to that, I was so scared. Obviously, any woman that is pregnant, if you go to the bathroom and you see blood, you're automatically going to get scared or worried and feel like something is wrong. So that's how I was feeling. And I was just happy that I was able to hear the heartbeat and also see the baby move. So that made me feel good. So after that, I, we went back to my room, and she, the lady told me that everything was fine um, as far, well, they had to wait for the results. But once they came back, everything was fine with the results. The blood count was good, and they just told me that sometimes these things happen during pregnancy. Um, you know, an extra, um, how do you say it? Like, you just produce more blood um, during pregnancy, I guess. And they just said everything was fine, though, and... The baby was fine and I was fine so I was just happy with that. I did also ask them to check my cervix to make sure it was closed because I didn't want the baby to fall out or anything and they did check and they said everything was fine. So that was pretty good. Um, also I was getting a lot of itchiness. So my nipples were extremely itchy, my breasts were extremely itchy and my stomach is extremely itchy. Um, and that was during week, week 14 where I had the extremely itchy nipples and breasts. Um, coming into week 15, I didn't have any itchiness on my breasts, but my stomach is still really itchy. I try not to scratch it, but I do scratch um, quite a bit. I try not to because I really don't want stretch marks. If I get a little, that's okay, but I don't want to get an oh, like a big amount of stretch marks. Um... My breasts, they've been sore since the beginning of my pregnancy. Um, especially when I'm sorry, I know I say um a lot. Sorry, I can't help it. But especially when I wake up in the morning and I'm, you know, you sleep on your breast, you turn over, you toss and turn. So when I wake up in the morning, my breasts are look at that. I cut my hair so wrong. Sorry, y'all. But anyways, so when I wake up